They would taste the Chardonnay. They would say, oh, how you can make wine from this, mm -hmm. you know? Which is, this is really what you need yes. to wine from. Yes, so, yeah. taste both. You can just take it and give it up. And the red one is a Muscatella. It's, it's more for eating or for children. And the green one is um, the Chardonnay. You can decide to make this year a wine like that. But when weather comes and sun comes and they decide what kind of wine you are making. You can try to make it every year the same style. But more you are influencing, influencing, the more you are cutting what nature gives you. So if you want to have really natural wine, don't push it too much. You don't push it on the left, on the right. Just let the grapes get ripe and then you decide here what kind of wine you will make. So everything is what is, uh, what is really heavy goes down and the juice is up. Of course, here the juice is most clean. Here it's like milk. If you say in Europe Riesling, everyone thinks of Rhine Riesling, yeah. which is uh, usually in from uh, from the next to the uh, Rhine River uh, Rhine, yeah. in Germany. Yes. Uh, if you say in Europe Beauty Riesling, everybody thinks uh -huh, Rhine Riesling. And you have also Laschke Riesling, uh, which is uh, here in our country, but it's not it's not with Riesling in common. Mm -hmm. Now you get the Rolls Royce, as you ask. <laughs> RR. No. It's, he is the king. He is definitely the king of varieties. Okay. So, this is for Ryan Riesling 212. Ah, <laughs> it is time to say goodbye. Uh, <laughs> till next time. <laughs> yeah. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> Sing it, girls.